Welcome back, I'm Jill at thecarefreekitchen.com and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make unicorn hot chocolate bombs. These are super fun to make, they're adorable, they're a fun gift to give somebody or just a fun craft to do with your family. Okay, so to get started, here are a few ingredients that you are going to need. Okay, so let's talk chocolate. Right here, I have a big chunk of chocolate, and this is one of my favorite chocolates to use. It's called Peter's Chocolate. This is my favorite to like dip things in. Um, this also works really well for these hot chocolate bombs. You can also find some brands in the store that will work. You want a little bit higher quality um, chocolate than just like the melting wafers. So this is the Ghirardelli and then the Lint. Um, either one of those will work okay. Um, I also have this in the white chocolate. And then here are the candy melts. And I know these are really popular, but they do not taste good in a hot chocolate bomb. So you wanna use something a little bit higher quality. The one that I'm going to recommend is this brand and it's this Collibot white chocolate chunks. And I just ordered this on Amazon and they work awesome. They're just like chunks of it. So I will put a link to that in my blog post as well. Okay, and then here is the dark chocolate chunks. And again, it's already all cut up for you and it's just ready to go. You can do the same with this chocolate, but it does take a little bit more time. Um, so today I'm just gonna use this Kalibot chocolate chunks. And this is a Belgian brand and it's amazing. I will say back to this uh, candy melt, if you wanna use these here and there for like decoration on your hot chocolate bomb, that works great. But for the body of it, we're gonna use Kalibot white chocolate chunks or Kalibot white chocolate chunks. Okay, so let's talk the rest of the unicorn parts. These Starburst candy are what I'm going to use for the horns. And I found this little edible paint set and I will be just painting the horn gold. And then check out these adorable sprinkles. I found these are like little tiny unicorns. And then those colors are just so cute. And I'll show you how I use those. I use marshmallows for the ears. And then for the inside, in keeping with the white chocolate theme, I'm gonna do a white chocolate hot cocoa mix. And then I thought I'd put one of these in. This is just a Hershey Kiss and it's a sugar cookie kind. I thought they were just really cute. And then we, um, pull these out of our cereal. So that'll make a really fun inside to our unicorn hot chocolate bomb. Okay, and then there's also a few tools that you're going to need for this project. These are my silicone molds. And this one is probably an inch and a half. And I have made some hot chocolate bombs in these, but they just aren't quite big enough to get marshmallows and hot chocolate powder in there. So this is the one that I use and it's a two inch wide hot chocolate mold. So this will make actually three bombs. And I thought I would need two of these, but actually you don't because it goes pretty fast. They harden pretty quickly. So um, one of these will be great. And then I also have some piping bags, the ones you can just put the tip in and then just clip that off. That works great. And then you'll probably want some toothpicks and then also a thermometer. Digital is best here and um, this will help regulate how hot you get your chocolate. Okay, so I've added my white chocolate to my bowl here and I have about a pound and a half. And I'm going to just reserve a little bit here to the side and this will be for seeding our chocolate. I'm gonna walk you through on how to temper your chocolate. Okay, so to melt the chocolate, I just have a pan here and it has about an inch of water in it and it's just simmering very slowly. So I'm going to put my bowl on top of my pan and this is what it's going to look like. You want to be sure that the full edge of this bowl comes over the pan because down there it gets really steamy. And so the steam rises up and heats the chocolate. This is a really slow and gentle way to melt chocolate. So with white chocolate, you want this to melt and come up to temperature to 115 degrees. And on milk chocolate, it's about 110 degrees. So white chocolate can get just a little bit hotter than that. You wanna bring it up to 115 and then you're gonna add some of this chocolate to it and it will cool the chocolate down. Then you wanna take the temperature back down to about 79 degrees. So up to 115 and then down to 79. And the reason why you want to temper the chocolate is it's so you have a really high gloss on there 
and it's really crisp when you bite into it or when it cracks. It only takes a few more minutes to temper the chocolate, so it's just a really great way to get a high quality hot chocolate bomb. Okay, so hopefully you can kind of see here that it is starting to melt. You wanna be sure that you're using really clean instruments and no water droplets. If you have really streaky chocolate, it's probably because it's either not tempered or it is just had a little bit of water in it. So to get that really high gloss and uniform color, you temper it and make sure you don't have any water in it. And right now, when it's actively melting, you wanna just turn your simmer down to a really low simmer and then just keep stirring. Okay, and I'll show you, let's see what temperature it is now. Okay, we're up to about 98, 99. Okay, so just a couple more minutes and we'll be up to that 115. Okay, we are really close now. 111, 14, and 15. Okay, now I'm just going to turn the heat off and slide this over. And then I'm going to add in this chocolate. And now we would like to just cool it down bring it down to about 79 degrees. And then it will be ready for our molds. Take it off of the heat there. So now it doesn't have the bottom heat and just the heat from the bottom of the bowl will melt the rest of the chocolate. And then you can just continue to gently stir it while the rest of the chocolate melts. Okay, my chocolate is ready to go. So I'm going to add just a spoonful to each one of my molds and be sure to bring it up right around the edge every time. So I just like to use the back of a spoon, spread it in there, and then I will come back with a paintbrush and build up the sides and then get any of the smaller holes or the lighter spots, I guess. Okay, and now we're gonna put this in the fridge for about five minutes until the chocolate sets up. Okay, and then after your hot chocolate bombs have had a chance to set in the fridge for a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit more chocolate. And I want to put just an extra coat of white chocolate on the very sides where it's going to seal with the other half. And you can use a paintbrush and bring it all up to the edges. There we go, now I'm gonna put them back into the fridge for just a couple more minutes. Okay, so these have had a chance to sit in the fridge for a couple minutes. I'm using these black gloves because it helps keep my hands just a little bit cooler. So these will just pop right out of here. And you can kind of see that. And pop right there. Okay, and the next thing that I like to do is I have a pan that's just pretty warm there, and I'm going to take the hot chocolate bomb and just put it in this pan and it will melt the edges really nicely right there. Okay, so in here, I'm gonna add a couple marshmallows, and then I'm just going to open hot chocolate, put it in, and add a few marshmallows. Okay, I'm gonna get this a little bit warm again. And then seal it up. And then you can just use your little paintbrush there and seal the edges. There we go. So again, I'm just going to melt the top here. And this time I'm gonna add in a little Hershey Kiss, a couple of big marshmallows, and then the white hot chocolate powder. All right, I'm gonna melt the lip of that hot chocolate bomb. Okay, and then I like to use the mold here so that I can just work on my hot chocolate bombs. Okay, I've just got a little starburst, and they make a really nice 
little horn for our unicorns. And I'm going to just roll it in my hand to make kind of a long rope. I want it a few inches long. Okay. And I've got one yellow one and then one pink one here. And I just microwave them in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Okay, then I've got two here and I'm just going to twist those together. There we go. And then I will cut it in half and elongate it and twist it just a little bit more. And then on the bottom part, I wanna make a little flat area so that it will stay on my hot chocolate bomb a little bit better. Okay. And then I'll just do the same for this one too. Flatten the bottom and elongate the top just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now you can paint these with gold paint if you'd like, or you can just leave them really colorful. Either one works great. Okay, so you have a couple options when you are making the ears. Here's one option. You can just cut this little heart on a diagonal, okay? And then put it in the pink glitter. So that is an adorable little ear, just like that. Or you can use a bigger marshmallow and put it into the powder. And then there you have that. So either one works great. And then I'm just going to take a paintbrush and brush on some chocolate. And this will hold the unicorn's hair and then also the ears and eventually the horn too. Okay. Then I'm just going to use a little bit of white chocolate and put the little ears on. And then a little bit more white chocolate for the horn. There we go. Hold that just for a second. And then I'm just going to add a couple more balls around that white chocolate to hide the seam there. Good, good, good. Okay, and then you are going to follow the same protocol for bringing your chocolate up to heat. I'm melting a little bit of chocolate for the eyes on my unicorn hot chocolate bombs. So you can just use the double boiler method again. And actually this would be a good place to use chocolate wafers if you wanted to because it's just a really small part of the hot chocolate chip bomb but I'm gonna use this really nice chocolate on this one. All right, and we're just gonna warm this slowly and stir it gently until it reaches about 110 degrees. And then we'll cool it off to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and then for the dark chocolate, I just melted it the same as the white chocolate and then put it in an icing bag with a small round tip. And then I'm just going to make the eyes here, the little eyelid, and then the eyelashes. There we go. It just adds so much personality. Aren't they so adorable? All right, here are my unicorn hot chocolate bombs. They are loaded with white chocolate. They are adorable and so fun to make. And bonus, they're filled with awesome surprises in the middle. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Care for Kitchen. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me here. And I'll show you all kinds of fun and easy recipes that your family will love. And as always, there's a printable recipe card in the description box below where you can find all the recipe details that are all written out and easily printable. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.